Hey guys, in this video, we have another brand new My Little Pony set that was just released. I've been waiting for this set to come out for a really long time, so I am really excited about it. So here we have the Musical Main Melody playset, and it is a two-in-one salon and karaoke. It plays music and comes with a bunch of different accessories, plus three different figures, including the new Dragon Sparky. And a bunch of the new Generation 5 figures, like the Cutie Mark Magic figures, will work with this set. I pre-ordered this set from Amazon, and I will leave the link in the description description of this video if you want to go purchase it on Amazon and I will also have the link to purchase it from Target.com as they sell it too. On the back it's just showing you some of the different features that work with the set including the other Cutie Mark Magic ponies like Zip and Izzy here. We also get tons of different little pieces and there's also this little like stage piece right here. But let's get this set opened up and take a look at it. Here is our first figure. This is Pit Petals. Of course, she is the owner of Main Melody. And this Pit Petals figure has a little gold piece in her hair. She also has the classic Generation 5 plastic molding. And she has movable limbs and posable wings. She also has a metal strip on the bottom of her back hoof. So she can work with this playset. Plus a spot for a plug-in cutie mark. In this set, we also get Sunny Star Scout in her alicorn form. She has all the same features that Pip does, so including the metal piece. She does not have the rainbow in her hair like the newer Sunny figures do. She has a gold strip instead, and she has sparkly and shimmery gold wings. And for the very first time, we get to see Sparky Sparkaroni in a Generation 5 playset. He is a brand new dragon that was hatched in the Make Your Mark special, and he also has a little metal piece that he can work with this set, so it'll be really cool to see what this set does with him. He just sits in this little position right here, but there are some more Sparkies coming out in some new sets that will have him in different poses. Here we have this stage piece and it's got a rainbow, some wings, it's sparkly like Sifu and it's purple and it's just a plastic material and there's no spot to like make the ponies like grab onto it like some of the other play sets have. Here is the actual large playset itself. It's shaped like a radio. The only button right here that works is this one with the little pip cutie mark and the batteries are included too, which is nice. On the top here, there's a bunch of different designs of all the main five's cutie marks and then there's a handle so you can carry the set around. When we flip the set around to the back, this is the salon part and we'll have to add in all the different accessories, but you can see there's lots of different spots where you can plug the ponies hooves into these and there's lots of little shelves to display the accessories. The stage part of the set is right Right here and on the inside this is where the accessories come in so make sure you grab these when you get it out. One other thing I will note is I don't see an on and off switch anywhere on this set so it probably just continuously is on so I don't know how long the batteries will last. There's actually a couple more details up inside this plastic part. You can see that there's some lights and there's actually a disco ball up there too. And this little spot right here is where the ponies with the metal pieces can plug into the set and each figure has a unique reaction. But let's take a look at the accessories. Our first accessory is this little pony-sized radio. We also get this little microphone that they can hold, which is essential to this set. There's also a pizza box with a pizza in it, and there's a slice that's already been cut. We get a mirror piece, and surprisingly, there's no place for this to be held by the ponies. We get some drinks, and by the way, anywhere you see these little pegs right here, that is where the ponies can hold these accessories on the bottom of their hoof. We get two phones for the ponies. This one is probably Pip's, and then this one is Sunny's. We get this little camera piece. I'm thinking that this is a guitar and if you just take this part off right here, you can make the ponies wear it too, just like that. We have some little sunglasses. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, but on the boxes and the stock photos, it's showing that this is something they're holding. So I guess it's just like a little thing. Maybe it's an instrument, I'm not sure. Now in this, we also get the little plug-in cutie marks for the figures to display. This goes in the little heart spot on the other side of where their actual cutie mark is. All you have to do is take it and then just put it in here, just like that. And then now they can display it. One more piece that comes inside of the accessory package for the backside is this little piece. And this is, I guess, the hairdryer. I'm not really sure what this is called, but it goes on this part right here. So it goes like this. And if you pull this part out, behind it is where the batteries are. And then on this side where you open this little door, there's spots where you can store all of the different accessories on the inside. I should also mention that we get lots of stickers in this set, which is pretty typical for a My Little Pony set. Now that we've gone over all of the features and accessories that this set comes with, let's start testing out the different Cutie Mark Magic figures on this little piece right here. We'll start with the ones that are included with this. So first up is Pip, and you can see this little metal piece back here. This is going to go right here. <laughs> Looks like she 
plays quite a variety. I'm not sure if there are more that she plays, but I just went through five different cycles. Um, most of them are instrumental soundtracks from the New Generation movie. There's nothing that's really necessarily unique to Pip's character, which I kind of thought is what we were getting, but we'll see as more figures get tested. Now let's test out Sunny and see what she does. It seems like Sunny plays pretty similar ones to Pip, but there are a couple different ones in there. I'm not sure how many actually play for each pony, but I'm not gonna like cycle through the whole thing right now. Now let's test out Sparky and see what he does. He also plays a couple different songs too. Now I'm not sure if these songs play on here in like a pattern, like it plays one, then another one, and then you get to the end and then it starts that cycle again. Um, It seems like it's kind of random. Now we've tested all the figures that actually come with this set, but there are a few other figures that have just been released along with this set that will work with it too. These first figures here that I have, they are called the Meet the Main 5 collection and they came in a pack together that is sold exclusively by Amazon. I'll also link this set down below since I think it's a great set since the figures are pretty detailed. Now all of them have the little metal strip on the back of their hoof. So let's test out these figures and see what they do with the set. First up, we'll try the Sunny figure. <laughs> Seems like this Sunny figure mainly gives off the same songs that the previous one did. We'll also try this other Pip figure right here too. It seems like this figure also gives off the same ones that the Sunny figures do and that the Pip that came with this set do. Let's try this on a different character like Izzy and see what happens. Like what's happening here is that a lot of these figures will sing like an instrumental version of gonna be my day or i'm looking out for you but some of them also have a couple other unique ones like izzy sings the instrumental version to her song which is fit right in let's also test this out with zip too It doesn't seem like Zip really sings anything unique. Um, I'm not sure really if you have to press it a certain amount of times because it seems like it's random what it's giving off. So there could be different songs that these figures are playing, but I'm just not hearing them. Let's also try this out with the Hitch figure too. And Looks like Hitch does have one unique sound and that is an instrumental version of the beginning of I'm Looking Out For You. Also be really careful here because Hitch has bigger hooves than the rest of the ponies do and I think Izzy does too. So he doesn't 100% fit in there. And when I was pushing him in, his paint on his hooves is doing this. So be really careful. It's not the complete end of the world for me and I can kind of just pull it down, but that is probably something that should be um, taken into consideration next time. Now I've still got a couple more figures that I would like to test out with this set just for lulz. These are my actual Cutie Mark Magic figures and if you want to check out their unboxing videos, I made one for each over on my TikTok. The link is down in the link tree in the description. I will also leave links to wherever these ones are sold to if you're interested in buying them. These ones all come with the metal strip on the bottom of their foot. There's only these four characters, there's no hitch. But out of curiosity, we're going to see what they do with this set too. First up, we'll test Sunny. It seems like each figure is going to sing the same stuff that the other figure of it does. So for example, all the Sunnies will sing one thing and all the Izzy's will sing another thing. We'll test Pip out too. And we'll also take a look at Izzy. And we can test Zip too. So that was all the figures that I have and that I think are out that are going to work with this set. And I tested all of them. And I guess depending on which character you get, they're going to sing a certain random selection of different instrumental songs. It does seem there's a couple unique ones per character, but a lot of them do just play the same ones. Overall, I think it's still a cute idea. And if you don't want to use your figures to play the music, there's always this button right here, which will play the exact same songs that all the figures do, unfortunately. I could not find a demo tag or anything on this, so there's not like any extended version of the songs. And if you didn't see the lights also in the disco ball, they sync up with the song. So guys, that's probably going to wrap up this review for today.
Once again, the links to buy all of the stuff that I showed in this video will be in the description. Overall, I think this is a really cute set and I like the idea behind it. I just think there should be more unique sounds and features to each character instead of more repeated sounds all the time. Also, you can pretty much take all the accessories and pack them in here and then you can take the set places, which I also like. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and leave a like and don't forget to check me out elsewhere down in the link tree below. And I will see you guys in the next video.